Yo, what's up, everybody? Um, so we're gonna be talking about Yamega and Yam right now, and I am uh, beyond hype because I adore Yamega. Um, I have a plushie sitting on my desk. Uh, Bug type is my favorite type, along with Poison. Um, I adore Yamega's design. It's probably my top ten to twenty favorite Pokemon. Probably somewhere in my top ten or twenty. I have a lot of favorite mods, so it's, it always changes. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that, but I adore Yamega. Um, and they are extremely powerful. Um, so, I'm not exactly sure where to start, but I guess the easiest place to start is probably the typing. So, um, typing-wise, uh, yeah, I want to quickly mention... Hold on, this is kind of loud. Um, bug dragon typing. First things first, this is a fan favorite typing. This is the, the typing that fans have been begging for for years. Um, the Flygon will also be Bug Dragon. This is a spoiler, but not really. Flygon will also be Bug Dragon, but it will be a pseudo, so it will have. It will basically be. It'll be weaker and slower, but it'll, it'll be a mix attacker and it'll be much bulkier, um, and have a much better like coverage move pool, because um, Flygon will have Levitate and Amplifier. So I'm only talking about these in comparison because I already know what Flygon's going to have in advance, so I can compare the two Mons. Uh, Yamega is much faster and has higher special attack than Yamega. Um, Flygon, however, with the Amplifier boost, Flygon's uh, Bug Buzz and Draconic Wave are actually stronger than Yamega's, uh, but of course, it, he doesn't have Tinted Lens. Um, and of course, Yamega actually has pretty solid coverage, but, but um, you know, Flygon has like, you know, ground and fire moves and stuff, which are great coverage, which is why I opted to give him Amplifier and to give Flygon Tinted Lens. Sorry, the other way around. That's why I opted to give Flygon Amplifier and to give Yamega Tinted Lens, because Yamega needs Tinted Lens more than uh, Flygon does, and also because Yamega already had Tinted Lens to begin with, and because he is a true bug. Um, well, so I just think it makes more sense that way. Um, so, yeah. Um, Bug Dragon Hepping, um, on most most fans love this change. Most fans can agree that it is kind of stupid, but it's just fucking cool. Um, the way the reason I can justify it is um, because of Agent Power. The way it learns Agent Power, it's like a pre. It, basically, it learns it as like a prehistoric type deal. Um, you know, it goes back to the Mega Neura, like the extinct uh, species of uh, Dragonfly, and. Um, a lot of, actually all dinosaur Pokemon in this hack are now uh, dragon type, besides Aerodactyl, and maybe one more I can't think of. Like, all explicit dinosaur Pokemon. Obviously there's like dinosaur Pokemon who are, um, you know, like, like, like fucking Meganium, like that's not dragon, obviously. But um, dinosaurs in the sense that like they got an evolution, or, okay, this is actually not a good analogy, but you can justify it as like a prehistoric type vibe, like, oh, he's a prehistoric primal dragonfly, so he's dragon. Um, I think most fans can admit that it's kind of a stupid change if you think about it hard enough. But it's cool and it's strong, so who the fuck cares? It's a ROM hack. Um, I would think that if they ever made a Bug Dragon Yon Mega, it should be a Mega Yon Mega. Um, not like actual Yon Mega, because if you really think about it, the Japanese like name for Dragonfly has nothing to do with dragons, and Dragonflies have no association with dragons in Japanese. So um, for all of those naysayers out there, or for those people who are going to be commenting, they're all like, oh, actually, it makes no sense. I already know it doesn't make sense technically, if you really think about it. Yeah, Bug Dragon doesn't fit. But, you know, he's got the colors for it and the vibe, so it does, it, it fits fine. Um, and I think it's cool enough to justify, despite the fact that, yes, I'm aware, um, Japanese has nothing to do with Dragonflies, or sorry, in Japanese, dragons and nothing to do with dragonflies and uh the pond doesn't even work in japanese i'm aware of all this i also am aware that uh, yamega's beta design and also current design is roughly meant to uh, mimic a helicopter uh, i believe its beta design was like extremely based on like a military helicopter so you know it is what it is but at the end of the day bug dragon's fucking sick um and my man is an absolute powerhouse so um, they've lost speed boost because they need levitate and, uh, you know, because they're bug dragon now, so they need levitate. Um, and levitate is a great ability because of how frail you are. So what I did is I made them an absolute glass cannon, um, massive 126 base special attack set, which is fitting given here, given their, you know, the design, like it says here, it creates shockwaves that inflict critical internal injuries of foes. Hence also why I gave it shockwave via tutor as a nice little meme coverage move with 55 base power plus two priority. So that's nice to have, uh, versus like specific, like, four times be Pokemon, otherwise you'd rather just use your stab moves. But early game, it's nice. Like, it's nice for early game. Um, you know, you could make use of it, but it's just there for flavor. Um, you have other great coverage that I'll cover in a little bit, but first I want to talk about the Mons as a whole. So, um, you have a 146 base speed stat. I'm not gonna lie, I went a little bit overboard with these guys, just because I fucking love them. I went a little bit of favoritism here. 
I'm not gonna deny it. Um, I have no shame. <laughs> this is a very self-indulgent hack, and I just fucking love Omega. Um, and he is balanced, despite being extremely powerful because of how frail he is, so he will be difficult to get onto the field, because Bug Dragon also lacks a lot of resistances. Um, so that's why Levitate is so huge, because you get a complete immunity to ground. Um, so with 81, 56, 56 bulk, you can be completely immune to ground. Also, as for the stats, the stats kind of bug me. I wish he was um, mixed, or um, I wish he had better bulk also. Like physically, because he is like an armored dragonfly, but that he is a little baby dragon. Not a baby, I mean, he's fucking huge, but um, he is like, like you know, you smack a fucking dragonfly, that motherfucker is dead. Um, so I think making also just from a balance point of view, making him a glass cannon makes the most sense. And a special defense that was already pitiful, so I may as well have just made them equal and then bumped it and just dumped it all into speed and special attack. Um, and I also had to min max attack a little bit because I didn't want to go over 525 base that total because he is a two stage and he's not like. Like, I could have justified 550 because he is, like, a Sinnoh evolution, and he's, like, you know, a super big, strong Pokemon. So I could have justified a 550 best that total. If I had done that, I would have given him uh, slightly more physical defense. And then, uh, also, that should be minus 20, shouldn't it? Minus 30, yeah, that's a wrong math I messed up there. Sorry, guys. Um, I would have given a little bit more physical defense. And uh, definitely more attack. I think I would have kept the 76 base attack for like mixed U turn sets or something for tinted lens, but you can still run that. I mean, it's not great anymore. You've got to turn parting shot personally. But um, yeah, also, it's a really cool remix. I didn't even notice it existed with Pokemon Masters. I just looked up Aaron theme because I wanted to see if he had one. Whenever I think of uh, Aaron, I always think of Yamega for some reason. Um, but I don't even know if that was his ace in Gen 4. I just think of him. Um, but God, Yamega's so strong now. So yeah, um, base 146 speed. So I did. Give, I, I did a little funny, and I made it speed creep, Mega Pidgeot, and Crobat, and other base 145 Pokemon. I made it one point faster just because of how frail it is. I think it kind of needs the speed. Um, because again, these two are actually bulky, or at least somewhat bulky. Crobat can actually take some decent hits, and then uh, Pidgeot, Mega Pidgeot is like actually bulky. So like, you're going to need that speed. Like All of these other fast Pokemon are pretty bulky. Even Mega Beedrill has better bulk than um, yeah, Mega. So, I mean, yeah, Mega Beedrill is like 70 70 yeah, both his defenses. But yeah. Um, I think that it's just kind of cool. Also, I like how the stats all end in six, almost like the 56, 56, 126, 146. So that's why I did it. Also, because yeah, Mega, like this motherfucker is a like, like dragonflies are literally some of the fastest animals on the planet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and they can also like, they can move like they're super agile, like they can fly in all directions and all this crazy shit. Like they are extremely fast. So um, I really do see like a really giant speed stat, especially because they had speed boost. So to make up for losing speed boost, I just gave them the giant speed stat. Um, so yeah, these guys are absolute fucking behemoths of attackers, um, absolute glass cannons, probably some of the most potent glass cannons in the game, um, but they are still that, glass cannons, and those can be difficult because, yeah, Mega holds zero defensive utility um, without Levitate. Um, not zero, but very little defensive utility, so it's going to be really hard to get it on the field without a... It's, it's very easy because you can give um, Eject Button to a bulky Pokemon, Infinite Use Eject Button, because that is now Infinite Use. Um, so you can just give that to a Pokemon. You can run slow Parting Shot. You can run slow U-Turn or Volt Switch. You can run slow... Um, what's it called? Slow um, Baton Pass, which is negative priority. So Baton Pass is essentially Teleport now. So you have all those options to get your Yamaha on the field safely. Tons of ways to do it. Um, so it's not that difficult, but you know, it takes a little bit of planning. Um, and of course, Levitate. So you have access to infinite usability capsules. Also, I will talk about Yama, by the way. I promise I will. And a lot of people love, love, love Yama out there too. I think Yama's pretty cute. I like Yama. Yama it's pretty cool. But Yamega is just so fucking sick. I, I can't really care about Yama when you have such an awesome evolution, you know? But I do like Yama. I like bugs. I like dragonflies. It's cool. I like his little wings and his little tail. It's cool. But uh, anyways, um, God, yeah, Mega's so awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to be gushing about this motherfucker and how cool he is. Um, so Levitate, you have infinite usability capsules. So it'll, you'll basically be using Tinted Lens in most cases. But then when there is a situation where um, Levitate is useful, you're going to be switching to Levitate and running that for that battle. With Levitate, you can, of course, switch your Yama again for free. And then, you know, you have Energy Ball and Giga Drain for uh, coverage and Solar, Solar Beam for coverage against uh, ground types, which is nice. So you can then hit them with a super effective move. Um, or you can just hit them with your stab moves or whatever else coverage move you have that hits that specific ground type super effectively. As for coverage, you have um, 55 base power shockwave, which is plus two priority. You have Giga Drain, Energy Ball, and Solar Beam. You have Venice Shock and Sludge Bomb, which is really good for fairies, especially. Um, although fairies do not resist your bug type stab um, anymore because fairy no longer resists bug. Um, bug is actually neutral now. Bug is now neutral on fighting, fairy, and ghosts. So um, all of those mons are take 
excuse me, neutral damage um, from Bug now, as opposed to resisted damage, because those resistances didn't make any sense anyways, in my opinion. It made little to no sense. And also because Bug just needed offensive buffs. So, um, and of course, if you don't want to play with those, there will be a patch without type truck changes. There's only three. There's three for Ice. Ice has three resistances, and then Bug has three. But um, that being said, you have Shadow Ball and Ominous Wind for Ghost Coverage, which is solid. Uh, Psychic for Psychic type coverage. Uh, they already got those moves. I didn't add those. Then you have, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Focus Blast late game, which is extremely powerful. And then you have stuff like Air Slash, Aero Blast, Razor Wind, and Hurricane late game, uh, late game for Hurricane. Uh, Focus Blast is one of the best coverage moves because it hits like steals and stuff. So if you're running a Levitate set, you can hit those. Also, despite the fact that Levitate, sorry, despite the fact that Tinted Lens doubles the power of uh, not very effective moves, it doesn't change the fact that a lot of stuff might still four times resist or be immune to your stab. For example, Fairies, you want to hit them with Sludge Bomb, if not just Neutral Bug Buzz or something, or Signal Beam for earlier in the game, or Bug Bomber, which I'll cover all these moves in a little bit. Um, you have, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, nature Power. Um, is very cool because nature power can be can turn into uh, moonblast or uh, moonblast or thunderbolt in electric and misty terrain, which you don't get normally. So you can totally use that if you have like a misty terrain or more importantly electric terrain team. You can get like some valuable uh, thunderbolt coverage there, um, and that will be terrain boosted, of course, um, unless you're running levitate. Actually, no, if you're running levitate, it still gets boosted. Um, you also have dark pulse, which is arguably worse coverage than shadow ball, but it's situationally better, you know, in terms of like super effective coverage and stuff. And you have HM power, which is weaker, but you know it could make could come in handy. Um, but these coverage doesn't matter too much because you both you have tinted lens on both Yama and Yamega. So um, yeah, I think that's it for coverage. Um, now uh, Yamega, like I said, is incredibly powerful. I mean, literally, all if you want to, you can just slap a choice specs on this Yamega and literally just click buttons, and you will kill like everything. Like it is so strong. Um, of course, the opponent will one-shot you with, like, Stab, Extreme Speed, uh, Stab, Sucker Punch, Stab, First Impression. Like, those will all probably just one-shot Yamega from a decently strong Pokemon because of how frail it is, so you got to keep that in mind. Um, you know, you might want some team support there. You might want to, you know, maybe Psychic psychic Surge would actually help a lot. Um, you know, Psychic Terrain would help your Yamega a lot. Um, if you're not running Levitate, then you can use um, also Boosted Psychic and Terrain, which, we, which could be um, pretty cool if you want to do that. Um, you can also just run Focus Ash on this motherfucker. Um, you don't have any setup because I consider giving them Quiver Dance, but it's overpowered. Um, Quiver Dance only gives you plus one speed and special attack, but still, it would be too strong. Uh, you could literally just run like Sash Quiver Dance and just sweep like everything effortlessly, um, even more effortlessly than you already can. However, I did keep Supersonic and Z Supersonic gives them a plus two special attack boost. The downside being you can't run Focus Sash, so you're going to need to put yourself in a spot where you can reliably click that. Um, a lot of leads have taunt, so if you outspeed them, you can just click Z Supersonic um, and then they'll be taunting that first turn and then you don't take any damage and now you can just click plus two Bug Buzz, Tinted Lens, and one shot their entire team probably, um, assuming they don't have any Sashes or Sturdies or any other stuff, which they probably will um most likely so keep that in mind um there's always gonna be stuff to stop sweeping that easily but it, you know for, for a good amount of fights you will be able to sweep them with that kind of method or just with specs you can it's also just a great cleaner like obviously if this wasn't competitive it'll be absolutely busted and it'll be banned instantly just because of how fast and strong it is like dude holy shit um even with all the priority although there is tons of new priority so maybe it's not that bad like literally every pokemon has access to stab priority for the most part so you can totally just run like a choice priority and just kill you on mega one hit like it's really not that hard to fight um you run priority you can run focus sash you can run a super effective weakening berry whatever you need to do um there's also pokemon that do four times resist or are immune to their stab moves so if you have like a spexy on mega in front of you um and it's locked into like dragon pulse you can always swap um also dragon fang dragon pulse is, uh, dragon moves not just dragon pulse dragon moves are very powerful but first, I want to, before I get into any more detail about Yamega, I want to talk about Yama quickly because Yama is what you're going to be starting off with. So Yama is a gem evolution. Um, a lot of the Violet Pokemon or Pokemon that got evolutions in later generations are gem evolutions, um, just so that way the pre-evolution is viable um, to an extent. Uh, some people love Yama, so if you want to use it, you can. It does have an incredible speed set of 126 base, and it uh, has a good special attack set of 96. You have Tinted Lens as well, so you can just run like Specs Tinted Lens. Uh, if Iolite's not going to help you much, your base 51 HP and 41 defense is like, yeah, you're technically bulkier than Yamega with if I light, maybe. I don't even know if you are, actually. Um, but, like, dude, there's no point in running that um, at all. <laughs> it's just 
it's not gonna I mean, maybe under very niche circumstances but overall you're just gonna be running specs um but bug flying is technically situationally better in some cases than bug dragon and you know there's a lot of yamega love yama loves out there um, and i respect that so it's totally usable um you only miss out on your dragon moves so everything else you get um and you actually get something that yamega doesn't you get air late boom burst so you get air light commotion at 30 which becomes 102 base power and will always uh confuse you have air light hyper voice which is 114 base power you have air light hyper beam which is 192 base power and drops your special attack stat by two um you have air light boom burst which is 125 base power becoming 150 base power with air late so that's really great um that's just a very spammable move um obviously base on mega has solid boom bursts you know it, obviously it's not super effective on anything but with tinted lens you can just run specs boom burst at level 50 until you get stronger moves because uh boom burst is actually stronger than stab signal beam for example or stab dragon breath for example boom burst is stronger boom burst is not stronger than stab dragon pulse or bug buzz however uh, but it's still nice to have that option um if you want it um also early game you have stuff like swift and echo voice for air late as well so that's all cool stuff. Um, also, I didn't talk about for the stats, but I also I did want Yamega to be physical to an extent because it talks about how it's like its jaw power is incredible. It can bite foes apart while flying at high speed. And, you know, dragonflies in general are known, like especially their larvae, are known for like killing their prey that way. But I mean, there wasn't the room, there wasn't the stat distribution for it. And it's um, I also don't mind it not being physical because the uh, Flygon is mixed. Flygon will have equal or roughly equal in both offenses, so probably equal, probably about like base one fifteen in both. Um, so that's really, really good on Yum, uh, on uh, Flygon. So I'm not too worried about Yamega being purely special. Um, doesn't bother me as much as it used to. But that did irk me for a bit, but yeah. And that'll be obviously a pseudo, so. Um, what else is there? Uh, also, Weather Ball for coverage is really great because um, under Sun, for example, you can run like Sun, Yamega with Weather Ball turns into Fire type and then High Out Solar Beam. That's really strong if you want. You can also just run it in the, you know, in the Hail for Ice and the, you know, Rock type, and you can also get Water type um boosted as well under under rain which is nice um what else is there um yeah yama super strong and of course with infinite ability capsules you can swap between air late or tinted tinted is gonna be your, your option for most of the time but sometimes you might want to you know you might want to run that air late because of how strong commotion is or because of if you're if you are using a um you know if you are not evolving your yama, yama for some reason i mean i don't know it's there for the option but i feel like most people are just gonna evolve it because of how cool Yamega is and because of how fucking strong it is. But Yama, Yama is good. It's not bad. It's 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 really frail and it's not that strong, but it is very fast. So um and, and it is pretty powerful with like a specs with tinted lens. So it's a good mon. Um don't get it twisted. It is a good mon, but you're probably gonna want to evolve that at 35 in most cases. Um you have some funny meme shit like hyperspeed is there just for flavor, but it's useless because you're so fast. Hyperspeed gives plus three speed, but like you don't need that. <laughs> it's just there because I needed moves to fill in their move slot move set. Um Synchro Noise is very is very niche, but um I'm not gonna cover the niche option first. First I'm gonna cover their dragon type and bug type moves. So early game you have siphon, which is 45 base power and recovers 100 percent of your HP that you like deal. So it's essentially like a stronger bug type grinning kiss. Uh, or at least it's stronger in the sense that it heals more. Uh, Silver Gale is a 50 base power priority move. Um, that's really awesome. Infestation is solid. It uh, always traps for 12 turns, which is nice. Um, that's 50 base power. Struggle Bug is 60 base power and does minus one special attack, which is nice for early game. Uh, with Tinted Lens, you can just spam that. Um, tinted Area Slash is, uh, tinted is so good, man. I love, I love that ability. One of my favorite abilities in the game, for sure. I love Tinted Lens. Um, such a strong ability uh what am i trying to say um then you get bug buzz which is 95 base power and has a 30 percent flinch rate which is amazing especially because of how fast you are so like oh shit my mom lived bug buzz oop i flinched so you're really you're really if you're fighting trainers with Yamega, you're gonna want to just outspeed that fucker and that's not hard to do you can run scarf on your mons you can run priority moves you know you got priority first impression and sucker punch via tm so if you deleted your priority moves on your pokemon you can always teach those via tm if your pokemon learns it um, and also if it's coming off a decently strong pokemon it'll probably just kill it um, and if it doesn't you can always run like a choice band or whatever you want to run uh, to take it out in one hit um so that's really cool um Yamega also has so i said bug was and now you your last um you also have signal beam so your your, your stab for most of the game is going to be signal beam until you get bug buzz at 46. signal beam is 80 base power and uh has a 25% chance to drop your to, to boost your special attack stat by one, which is really useful. Um, that can like actually be very devastating and can even be situationally better than Bug Buzz. Um, obviously, the flinch and the 15 base power extra is better overall, but you know, Signal Beam has a use right there and it's also infinitely reteachable. So, that's another big benefit of Signal Beams that you can reteach it whenever you want via Move Tutor. Um, 
And then you have Bug Bomber. So Bug Bomber at level 60. Again, these moves are late because of how strong Omega is. Um, Bug Bomber is um, 25 base power per hit, and it always crits. So that's about 37.5 base power per hit. So if you times that by three, the base power of Bug Bomber is about 113 base power, or 112, I think. No, it's 113, I think. Yeah, if you round it up, it's 113. And the only downside is that it's 90% accurate. And you can't even protect on this. So not only does it bypass like stat boosts, like, you know, for example, if you have an amnesia up, it'll just bypass that and crit right through you. It also bypasses crits. You cannot protect. Sorry, it bypasses protect, so you can't protect on that. Um, so that's really, really powerful with Bug Bomber. Bug Bomber is a great move. Obviously, you are paper thin, so you really don't want to have to worry about uh, missing. So I would only run Bug Bomber with a... Uh, wide lens in my opinion like wide lens hypnosis plus bug bomber is good i would never ever risk bug bomber otherwise unless you're a fucking mad man because or mad woman or mad other um because like jesus you, you know you're so frail you don't need that extra like 18 base power like that dude in a nuzlocke like yeah it's 18 base power stronger and it crits and it has all these advantages but like dude you're dying if you miss it just run bug buzz you know what i mean um, but, you know, for those of you who like to live life on the edge, Bug Bomber is there. Trainers will definitely be using these moves because um, a miss for a trainer is not as big of a deal, but a miss for the player is the end of the world. So a miss for the trainer, that's why, you know, they're going to be using the inaccurate moves late game because they want that extra power. Uh, in competitive as well, you're going to want that extra power uh, most of the time. But in game, if you're doing a Nuzlocke, one feint means death. Um, and I would, I did balance this hack around hardcore Nuzlocke, so uh, not to say that you have to play it that way, you know, you can play however the hell you want, especially if you're not that experienced, you can always just play the hack. Um, the normal way I'm sure it'll be challenging enough for you, but if you are experienced, I would recommend doing a Nuzlocke. Um, not that you have to, you, know, you can always just play with other restrictions or whatever else you want. Um, but I did balance it with that in mind, so. Yeah, um, that's your bug moves. And then as for dragon moves, so Draconic Wave is dragon type boom burst. Um, so that is also 125 base power and it has no additional effect. It's just five PP. 125 base power. It's just an amazing move. With tinted lens. The only thing that gets switched on that is fairies and like four times are just like a steel ice. Um, because dragon is only resisted by ice and steel, and then fairy is immune. Otherwise, it's neutral on everything. So dragon stab is some of the best stabs in the game alongside like normal and other stuff. Um, and normal and yeah, mostly just normal. And, oh, and ghost. Those three are like some of the best offensive types in terms of like what resists them. Obviously, there are other types that are super effective on a bunch of types, but in terms of neutrality, those are the best. Um, but God, it's so good. Um, you have a lot of utility stuff, but obviously, you're not going to be running that without like a sash or something. Oh, yeah. Um. I think covered really everything. I mean, you got like, you know, you got your Screech, you got your Whirlwind is really nice, actually. Um, oh, I didn't cover your Dragon moves, yeah. So Draconic Wave gives uh, is 125 base power. Also, what you can run instead of Toy Specs is um, Dragon Fang. Dragon Fang is buffed to give a 30% boost because I really don't like how Fairies made Dragons obsolete. Not obsolete, they're still great, but like, I don't know. I just kind of like how Dragons were really strong, so I wanted to give an item. You only get one Dragon Fang in the entire game. So, you know, or maybe I'll maybe buy more post game, or probably not. Most likely, uh, unless I have the, if I have the slots, I'll throw it on there. But overall, you just get, you get one gift Dragon Fang in the game. Um, and that is extremely powerful. That gives you a 30% boost instead of a 20%. So that's a free Life Orb boost on your Dragon type moves. Obviously, Life Orb isn't a big, like, Life Orb is a great item on your Mega um, because you don't, you're not taking a hit anyways. So you may as well just take that HP loss. You know, you're not living hits. Um, so Life Orb is one of the best items on alongside like Choice Specs and stuff. Like Specs Bug Buzz is excellent, or you can just run Life Orb and switch your moves. It's up to you. Um, trainers will probably just be running Life Orb and just going Ungo Bungo. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, God, man, I'm going to be such an asshole with like Parting Shot Yamega, and it's going, oh, let me send in my check. Oh, I'm Parting Shot it out. And, and now you have to send in something else later and keep your check alive. Uh, I love it. Um, so other Dragon Stab. So again, Dragon Fang is great. Um, if you don't want to take that life orb recoil, um, you also have um, Dragon Breath and Twister. Twister is the same as Silver Gale. It's 50 base power priority move. Uh, Dragon Breath is 75 base power and has a 30% chance to burn, which is the same as Scald and Scorching Sands. So that's really cool. Um, it's just Dragon type Scald essentially, um, which is you know it's useful to have. Um, Dragon Pulse is 100 base power, 100% accurate, and has a 30% chance to paralyze instead. So that is incredible. Um, that is just super reliable, super strong. It's like earthquake power, you know, it's just, and it has an additional effect as well. So, um, yeah, that's amazing. I considered nerfing it to 95, but I don't give a fuck, man. It's dragon. Let dragons be strong. We're only ones that are ever running that are dragon stab anyways. Bug is actually useful coverage, so. But only only bugs are usually getting bug buzz anyways, so it's kind of the same argument. I actually had bug buzz at 100 base power for a certain time, but there's so many tinted lens bug buzz mons. I was like, all right, that's kind of excessive. Let me drop it to 95, which is still amazing. Um, 
So yeah, um, Dragon Pulse is great. And then you have Draco Meteor, which is um, 150 base power and drops special attack stat by two. So Draco Meteor is stronger than Draconic Wave, and you get access to Dr Draco Meteor earlier than Draconic Wave via Move Tutor. Um, in the mid 50s, probably is the time is about the time to be getting to Pony Island, which is when you can teach to move. Um, so that's incredible. Uh, two Draco Meteors in a row is really strong. Two Draco Meteors in a row is, let me think, uh, 225 base power because it's 150 base power, 100% accuracy, and it drops your special attack by, by stat by two. Same with like you know Hyper Beam. And all those other moves now. Um, so that's awesome. Um, and that's really it. Then you just have like some niche stuff like Synchro Noise is 120 base power and gives you a plus one special attack boost. Um, so that's great on like Aerolite -like Yama because um, your flying stab. Basically, on Aerolite -like Yama, you get a 144 base power, 100% uh, accurate flying stab at level 40 that will boost your special attack stat by one every time you use it. The only downside is you can only click it on bug or flying types, otherwise it'll fail. Um, and with Yamaka, that will, um, that will, that'll be a normal type move, and that'll only work on bug or dragon types. However, um, you do have Tinted Lens, so it's not the worst thing in the world if you want to boost your special attack that way, instead of using Z Supersonic, which is actually um, riskier in certain ways, because you do have to take a hit, versus if you kill something with Supersonic, or so sorry, Synchro Noise, then yeah. Also, I'm aware that Supersonic at level 44 looks stupid as fuck, but again, it's for the Z move, um, because of how overpowered it is. Otherwise, like, I didn't want to put it any earlier than 44. Um, lastly, the last thing I'll cover um, for utility is um, Hypnosis. Hypnosis is incredible. Um, it's 80% accuracy, and it uh, always lasts two turns. So if you're faster than the opponent, which in this case you will almost always be, um, also, another thing with the Omega is like, yeah, you're paper thin, but with your base speed, you can actually afford to not run speed investment and actually put it in your HP stat and take a couple of hits a little bit better. So say, for example, you are a neutral nature Yamega with zero speed investment, you're still hitting 328 speed with zero investment. So like, that's it's hitting base 100 mons. So, you know, you can always speed creep. Say there's like a base 120 speed mon in front of you, you can just speed creep it and then put the rest in HP. It probably won't mean that much, but you know, it's nice if you want it there. Um... I think that's about it. Um, last thing I want to cover is Hypnosis. Yeah, so Hypnosis will last two turns, but um, if you're slower, you get two full turns. If you're faster, the first turn counts as a turn. So essentially what you can do is you can run Hypnosis with like Wide Lens and then like click Bug Bomber, or you can risk that 20% 20, 20 chance of death because I promise you if you miss Hypnosis and they have any decent stab move, they'll probably one-shot you. Um, so if you miss that hypnosis, it's a big L. But if you want to risk that, you can do that. Or with wide lens, hypnosis becomes, I believe, 97% accurate. No, that's with 85% move, sorry. It becomes 93% accurate with hip, uh, with wide lens, which is really good. Uh, wide lens is buffed to boost by 15% if you are not familiar with the changes in the attack. Um, so yeah. Um, if you're always if you're ever curious on that kind of stuff, you can always just check the description and go to the Google Sheet yourself, and you can always check out all of these changes for all of these other Pokemon. Um, if you did enjoy this, by the way, like. You know, please leave a like and comment also. That would help the algorithm. It would help boost it and help recommend the videos to more people. Um, that really does, it's a very big help. So if you want to do that, that'd be awesome uh, if you liked it. Also, you can join my Discord server if you have questions about stuff or you want to download Baron Black to play while you wait for sweltering. Uh, keep in mind, Baron Black is not as good in terms of like quality, but it's still a great hack um, and definitely better than most, in my opinion. Uh, not to toot my own horn, but yeah um I, I i gotta you know i learned i gotta learn to be proud of my stuff because i do put a lot of effort in and um, most most hackers would not do this so i, I gotta give myself a pat on the back because i sometimes try to be humble but yeah man i mean i am better than most hacks out there at least in terms of like rebalancing stuff obviously other hacks do a lot of different stuff like you know they make a you know they completely make a new engine and they add old months to new months to old games and some people love that kind of shit and i also think it's cool too but I don't know. I have a soft for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so I figured my first mainstream hack, besides Baron Black, can be the, uh, another Ultra Sun hack, and then I'll be moving on to like other games after this, because um, I will keep hacking. I'm not going to stop after uh, Soul Swing. I will keep doing this for the foreseeable future. Um, this is unrelated. I'm sorry. Um, I think all I want to talk about is Hypnosis, anyways. Uh, Hypnosis is good. Also, Whirlwind is good. Whirlwind is one PP and will always swap the opponent out. It's priority. So what you can do is you can Whirlwind the lead out, and then you can click like Z Supersonic in a safer situation that way, if you want. Um, also, Hypnosis plus Z Supersonic is great, but obviously you're going to risk that 20% chance to miss. However, if the lead is Taunt, you may as well. But at that point, you may as well just click Z Supersonic right away. So never mind. Taunt Hypnosis is still a great move, though. That's why I put it so late. So that's awesome. I honestly probably should have put Supersonic even later at like 55, but who cares? It is it is really frail and you do have to run a Z move, which means you can't run a Sash, so I guess it's balanced. And if you set up 
to be able to get off that off, then that's on you. You know, I guess Bravo, I don't know. If it ends up being overpowered, I can always remove it in the second release. That's going to be like a, I wouldn't call it a beta, but more of like a, you know, first, you know, version one. You know, I can always remove it and uh, remove uh, overly overpowered stuff um, in uh, later versions. But anyways, um, uh, I think that's it. So thank you so much for listening. I really do appreciate it. I, I'm in love with the Omega. Also, this is a perfect sign. That means this video was exactly 15 minutes. Wait, really? No way I didn't loop more before 15 minutes, really. Was I talking that fast this whole time? It's kind of wild, honestly. Well, 15 minutes is a good time, so I'll it there. Either that or it's at 30 minutes, which is not bad. So, yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. See you guys with the next one.